Today we'll be comparing the Huawei Band 7 versus the prior year's model Huawei Band 6. First we'll get onto the design, then we'll talk about the display and then about the features and functions. Without further ado, let's do it. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. Before we get into the details about these two trackers, let me set your expectations. So there was nothing revolutionary that came onto the Huawei Band 7 that previously wasn't there in some shape or form on the Huawei Band 6. So it is a great update to the tracker, but nothing new majorly. Anyways, let's talk about the details because there are a lot of overlaps, but there are some gaps and some major improvements that did happen with the Huawei Band 7. So first of all, let's kick into the design because this is where most of the changes have actually occurred. If you were none the wiser and I would hold up these two trackers in front of you, it would be very tough just from looking at the face of them for you to tell me which one is the six, which one is the seven. And if I was looking at the back of them, well, there is a hint, but otherwise, yep, they are very similar indeed. So, so you still get this rectangular shape. You still get the button on the right hand side of the watch case. You get the same plastic watch case. You get a very similar strap. Well, that's as much for the similarities. Now let's get into these differences. Now the biggest change here is the weight. So if the Huawei Band 6 was actually 18 grams, still feather light, but without the straps, now the new one is actually just 16 grams. So two grams lower. Big difference? Well, not exactly, but still, when you are wearing it for a long time, you do forget that you're actually wearing the Band 7. Now, we mentioned the straps. Well, you will be able to see that with the Huawei Band 6, you've got these integrated silicon straps which are integrated into the watch case. If you want to replace these straps, you have to undo the pick on the side of the straps at the back of the watch. This was quite troublesome. So what they did on the Huawei Band 7 is they've actually introduced very similar looking straps, but now they're actually quick release. So there's no problems with taking this off. All you do is you pull the metal lever and that's it, the strap pops off. So it's much more simple and easy to use than on the original Huawei Band 6. Also, the dimensions have slightly changed. So if on the Huawei Band 6, we saw 43 by 25.4 by 11 millimeters on the Huawei Band 7, we are seeing 44.4 by 26 by 10 millimeters. So in regards to the width and the length, you don't see much difference. But in regards to the actual thickness of the band, the one millimeter does actually make a difference because that's around 10% or just under 10% improvement from the Huawei Band 6. And if you look at them from the side, you can see that the Huawei Band 7 actually looks much more slim line. The good thing about not having a high watch sitting on top of your wrist is that when you're sleeping or when you're changing clothes, it doesn't catch on your bed sheets, it doesn't catch on to your shirt and so forth. So overall, the design improvements on the Huawei Band 7 are there and yes they are noticeable if you look at the band in detail. Now let's talk about the display. Some changes have occurred there as well. So both of these displays are 1.47 inches. They're both AMOLED. They're both very bright. In fact the brightness goes up to 500 nits. Now what is 500 nits? Well it's bright enough to see the display clearly even in direct sunlight. But to put things into perspective, the Huawei Watch Fit 2, the all new addition to the hybrid smartwatch range from Huawei, the brightness is actually 1100 nits. So yes, bigger screen, much brighter. But at this price point, 500 nits is quite a good result. We remain with the same resolution, 286 ppi. So it's not the best in class, but it's definitely something to write home about on a budget fitness tracker. Both of these displays are actually covered by 2.5D Gorilla Glass, meaning that it is tempered glass. So it is your daily wear and tear resistant. So you're not likely to get any easy scratches on it. Now the biggest difference between these two displays is that 
the Huawei Band 7 actually offers always on display now. So this is a feature that was not available on the Huawei Band 6. So now that we've talked about the actual design and display, we know the differences there. Let's look at the insides of these two trackers. What has actually changed in regards to features and functions? Let's do it. If we look under the hood of these two trackers, we can see that most of the features and functions have stayed the same. So basically, you do get 96 sport modes, goal-based sport modes on both of these trackers. Goal-based means that you can set an objective to your sport mode activity, such as a distance to be run or walked, time to actually do an activity, or calories to be burnt. There is no inbuilt GPS in these two trackers. So if you want to measure your distance and speed, you will have to be connected via Bluetooth to your smartphone. So these two trackers can actually continuously monitor your stress, your heart rate, as well as SpO2. SpO2 is blood oxygen saturation. You do get sleep monitoring with these two trackers. The technology used for sleep monitoring is TrueSleep 2.0. So this technology was developed in conjunction with the Harvard Medical School. It keeps tracks of your naps as well as your night sleeping. So as long as your naps are over 20 minutes, it will be tracked by this watch. Your sleeps are monitored with you being given your going to sleep times, your awake times, and during the actual sleep, your deep, light, and REM sleep. If you go to your app, you will see a score that's been given to you for the sleep quality of the previous night. As well as that, you will be given recommendations on how to improve your sleep. You get breathing exercise, you get all the rest of the widgets and apps that you would expect on a fitness tracker. The things to highlight, are the continuous SPO2 monitoring. That's really cool on a budget tracker. Now, if previously Huawei Band 6 was the first fitness tracker in the market in 2021 to offer continuous SPO2 at this price point, most of the fitness trackers today do the measurements and the monitoring as well. There are four auto-detected activities with these two trackers. So that's your walking, your running, your rowing, and elliptical exercises. In regards to battery, well, you get up to 14 days in normal usage. That's what the manufacturer claims. In real life situations, though, you are looking at about 10 days usage from these two trackers, which is still outstanding, considering there's a 1.47 inch AMOLED display that you're looking at. In regards to heart rate accuracy, I would think that these two trackers have comparable results because the optical heart rate sensor on the back of these two trackers is actually TrueScene 4.0. So I would think that the heart rate accuracy of the two trackers is very similar. And considering that we've done quite a few heart rate accuracy tests for the Huawei Band 6 to date, we can see that yes, it's usually within 5% when benchmarked against the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. We are yet to do the heart rate accuracy tests with the Huawei Band 7, but again, since they're using the same optical heart rate sensor, we do think the results will be similarly great. If you do decide to take these trackers swimming, well, they are both 5 ATM water resistant. They also do recognize three swimming styles. So your breaststroke, your backstroke, as well as freestyle. Pool swimming is one of the sport modes on these two trackers. So out of the 96, one of them is pool swimming. When you go into that sport mode, you will be able to customize the pool length to make sure that you are counting the correct number of laps during your swim. Everything said so far pretty much sums up the comparison between the Huawei Band 6 and the Huawei Band 7. There haven't been any major huge differences and any big updates. It's just slight improvements here and there, especially the rework of the design to make it more, well, easy on the eye, to make it slightly lighter, to make it a bit more comfortable to actually wear. They've actually improved the strap, so now it's a quick release strap. So all these updates, they are great. And they make us think that the Huawei Band 8 in 2023 will be even better and potentially there will be a complete redesign because this one looks more like a facelift anyways thank you for watching this comparison and review of the huawei band 6 versus huawei band 7 if you did enjoy please drop me a like if you want to see more of the same you want to see those heart rate accuracy tests spo2 accuracy tests 
then please hit the red subscribe button below the video and I'll see you in the next one.